Today we found an injured manatee at the marina. Guys, I found it. So the mom manatee is there, but she's pushing around her dead babies. So the mom and the baby are getting closer and closer, right where his eye is right there. That's where it's completely slashed open. This what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. For those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob. Welcome. Nice to meet you. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail well, you will know for today's video that it is a very sad one. Today we found an injured manatee at the marina. A friend of mine sent me a video of a mom and a baby manatee that had been run over by another boat. The baby got all sliced open, really deep wounds, and it's not looking too good. I went and investigated. We contacted fish and wildlife and guys that's all I'm gonna tell you if you want to know if the manatee is alive how the baby and the mom is doing well guys you are in the right place but before we hop into today's video well I have a special message from today's sponsor and before we go any further well I just want to give a special thank you to pet canva for sponsoring today's video and for those of you that don't know about pet canva well pet canva is actually the industry leader in personalized pet products and all you got to do is go to pet canvas website and browse through all their products find what you like and you just gotta pick your favorite pet whether it be a dog cat, ferret, guinea pig, tortoise, turtle, snake, whatever your favorite pet is, well, you can have it put on basically anything. And for me, it was literally a no-brainer. I knew that when I was on Pet Canva and I had to choose what animal I was going to pick, well, I knew I had to pick my favorite serval boy, Cheech. We took a photo of him, and guys, you're not gonna believe what we got. So this right here is the photo that I picked for Pet Canva. We sent it in, and this is what we got in return. Look at this awesome phone case of this beautiful, handsome boy. Look at you, boy. Not only did they send me this awesome phone case, but they also sent me a t-shirt, a painting, and a ginormous blanket. Let me stop telling you guys about it and let me show you. Pet Canva was able to make me this awesome t-shirt of Cheech. Now I can rock Cheech, I can show him off, and I am saving the best for last. They also sent me this incredible portrait of Cheech with his name, super sleek, super modern, and really high quality. They sent me this, and then my favorite is the ginormous blanket of Cheech. So now I can get on my couch and snuggle up with Cheech whenever. And did I forget to mention that Mother's Day is in exactly one month? Um, I know I don't have a gift for my mom yet, so sorry mom if you see this. But if you guys don't have a gift either, well Pet Canva is the perfect gift. So if Pet Canva sounds like something you guys are interested in, well all you gotta do is click on the link down below, use my code Jacob, or go to petcanva.vip slash Jacob and you guys will get 25% off. And now that you guys got to hear about Pet Canva and all of the incredible products that they have to offer, well guys, now it's time to hop into today's Manatee Rescue. All right, guys, so I just saw a friend of mine Instagram story, um, and she was at uh, a marina down here locally in South Florida, and she saw a mom manatee with her baby, but unfortunately, the baby has been hit by a boat. Supposedly, there's a slice on the eye. The eye is completely gone, and the rest of the baby has been completely mangled and shredded by the propellers. Um, it's not looking so good, but the mom is being motherly. From what I've been told, the mom has been um, sitting there with the baby, being a good mom, but the baby is in dire need. It's in help, so from what I hear, uh, Fish and Wildlife has already been out there to assess the situation and see what they need to do to get the baby out, because if they leave the baby in the marina, well, the baby is surely going to die. He's cut open. Um, it's just really unfortunate. Boaters need to be more cautious, um, so it's just really sad that I'm even having to go and make this video and go and see this now. Not sure if I'm gonna find this manatee, but um, I'll be back with you guys uh, once we're at the marina. One hour later. All right, guys, so I just got over here to the marina, um, and we gotta search for this manatee. Now, this is a ginormous marina, as you can see, and there's a bunch of different uh, slips, so I don't have a boat here, so I can't get into any of these docks, but I'm gonna ask my friends. So we have the restaurant over here, but basically, how this manatee got hit is, there's boaters all day long going in and out of this marina, so people keep their boats here, and there's special rules in place for the manatees. You go at a slow, no wake, but a lot of people, especially in this marina, they don't respect the rules, they don't respect the water and the wildlife, and because of that, that is why this manatee got hit. So people are not supposed to go fast in here, but they'll go fast because they don't care, they think they're above the law, and that's what happens. Wildlife suffers, um, and then nothing happens to these people. I'm sure this person hit the manatee and kept going because if you get caught actually hitting a manatee, well, you're going to get some serious fines. You might even get some jail time. But we literally have to search here. We have to look row by row because if you look way deep on here, I'm not seeing anything here. Um, we've got to check this side and over here and then also over by the marina, over by the restaurant. I'm going to keep searching for this manatee, but guys, uh, I'm going to give my friend a call that saw it and ask her where she found it. Guys? I found it. So the mom manatee is there, 
but she's pushing around her dead baby. So this is just really sad to see that the baby, I, I mean, I don't know if the baby's dead or not, but it, you know, there's the, some of the water from the baby, but the mom is just pushing the baby out into the deeper water and you know, I'm not sure uh, what's going on with it. Guys, the baby is moving. So the baby just moved. The baby just moved a little bit and broke surface, but the, the mom is there, but then the baby is, is right on the other side. It, the baby's right on the other side. I don't know if you can see that, that, that glisten, but I think that that white is actually where it got hit, but now it's like literally smack dab in the middle of the arena. So, you know, there's no way for me to get up close to actually see the baby and see the conditions that it's in. Well, my friend told me that, you know, FWC has already been here and they're figuring out a way that they can actually get the baby. Cause this baby, again, I don't think it's going to make it if it doesn't get some help, but the mom is just floating out with the baby, kind of helping it, pushing it along the baby and the mom right over there. So guys, uh, um, let's, uh, let's see if it will come closer. Okay. So I just made it to a different angle and I'm right here by the rocks and I'm kind of just posted up right here on the bench, but Basically what's going on is, I was over on this dock before, I guess earlier in the day, the mom, manatee, and the baby, they were over on that side, but now they're in the middle. So I'm just literally waiting here to see if she chooses to come this way, that way, or that way. Cause I wanna, I, again, I haven't seen a close up, but you can see the two different, you got the mom there and the injured baby. Uh, it's just so sad to think. I know FWC has uh, been here, but where are they? FWC, where are you guys? You know, it doesn't take that long to, get some people together to get a plan. Um, where are you guys? Hope you guys are coming here soon because I'm gonna wait around. If FWC doesn't show up, I'm gonna give them another call and be like, hey, there's a manatee that needs help here. But there he is, right there. There's the manatee, hand out guys. We're gonna wait and see what happens. Okay, so I think the mom and the baby are finally coming to get some rest. So I think they're actually coming and they're making their way into the little canal. That's where the manatee was earlier. But the, oh, the mom's getting closer. This is the closest I've, I've pretty much been or the closest she's coming to this side. I've been here probably an hour now watching for this manatee, waiting for it to get close. So guys, um, we're going to continue waiting. And guys, I think they're coming. Guys, the mom and the baby have gotten closer. And you can see the baby was hit by the boat. You can see its scars right there. The mom's back is completely scarred up too. They're getting closer, but now the wind is on the water, so you can't really see it, but they're they're making their way here. They're getting closer, but I think, I think they're gonna continue coming on in right now. I think they're gonna keep coming in. Um, FWC is supposed to be coming to check them out, but it looks like literally right over the baby's eye, it looks like it's been sliced open by the propeller. Guys, this is really bad. It looks like the mom is a little bit banged up, so let's see uh, if we can get them some help. So the mom and the baby are getting closer and closer. Um, they're literally right here. I'm standing right here, so they're maybe like 15 feet from me, but I, mean, I don't want to disturb them, but basically I'm kind of waiting for them to get closer over to this dock. Um, I don't see FWC yet. FWC would be rolling in this way if they were coming, because I think they would need to save her um, by boat. But the baby manatee is moving just a little bit, and it looks like, looks like they're getting closer. All right, we made it on the dock, and this is the closest we've been to the mom and the baby. Oh no, the baby's eye is completely it's completely sliced open. You can see where the mom got sliced open too. So again, guys, this is all due to poor reckless boating. The little baby, maybe a year old or less, is now probably going to die because of reckless boating. Can't believe the mom got banged up as well, but this right here is just so sad to see, guys. The baby is literally floating there, lifeless. The mom is kind of just pushing the baby along. The baby has like no life in it. He's just kind of sitting there, dangling on for dear life. It's just so sad to think that our marine life is suffering because of us humans, but I'm just gonna sit here and watch them and see where they go. So the baby just broke surface for some air, so he's still alive, but he's definitely not doing too well. So all of that white scarring that you see on him is due to that right there. Those propellers are what moves really fast. That is what powers the boat. And when you're in these areas, you're supposed to go very slow so that those propellers right there can't damage and harm the manatee. So they were obviously going way too fast, not this boat, but someone with a boat had their propellers on and that's what sliced open and totally messed up that poor little baby. No guys, I think my worst fears have come true. It looks like the baby, I don't know, I'm sure if he's alive anymore. He's just there, just literally totally lifeless. The mom is just sitting with her baby, watching them and kind of pushing them along. And this is pretty freaking sad. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a little white line on him and that's where he's cut on the face. All right, the baby's surfacing, and you can see the white scratches on the baby, the white gashes and the cuts. They're getting much closer, closer than I ever imagined. I'm hoping that they'll kind of make their way right over here, right next to me, so I can check them out. So you guys can really see it now. You can see the cuts on the baby. The baby is literally right here next to me. He's missing his eye. He's moving along. Come on, guys, you got it. You can make it. Right there on the baby, you can see that the mom is having to push the baby 
away. They're literally, oh my gosh, I think the dad is here. So we've got the dad manatee right here. It looks like dad may have gotten nicked up a while ago. That looks like an old scar from the dad. And here's the baby. You can see the baby's fin also got messed up as well. He got completely messed up. We got the big one down here and mom is just uh, pushing the baby away. So the mom is slowly turning towards me, but if the baby lifts up again, you'll be able to see that right where his eye is right there. That's where it's completely slashed open. This is just literally one of the saddest things that I've ever seen. Guys, watch when you're boating because when you boat recklessly, this is what happens. Our wildlife pays, they die, they get injured just like this little poor baby manatee and its mom. So you can see the baby right now. You can see where the baby's messed up. You can see it's completely gashed open, cut open. This is just so sad. I don't know if mom's going after or leaving, but the baby's just sitting there barely moving. So we've got the dad right here, and the dad looks like he's just munching on all of the algae and all of the growth that's on this line right here. You can see all that algae growth. We got our dad, Manatee, and this is uh, one of the many native residents we have here in South Florida. Hi, look at this big sea cow. Hi there, buddy, how you doing? This is the best angle I've gotten so far of the baby, but you can see again right there, that's where he's all slashed and messed up. They're literally inches from my hands, but due to our laws, we can't touch them, but the baby's going, and that's his injury, guys. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video on the manatee. I ended up contacting Fish and Wildlife, um, my contact at Fish and Wildlife. I sent it over to him, and he said that they were working on sending out um, biologists to to check out the manatee and mom and see what they could do to help. So he's gonna keep me updated and I will be sure to keep all of you updated as well. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for both the mom and the baby manatee. And if you guys are not subscribed yet, you wanna know what happens to the mom manatee, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals, well guys, all you gotta do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.